Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Creation Guild. I am Janice Gallant, and today in this video, we are going to be releasing the energy of this past year. There has been a lot going on this year, a lot of, um, a lot of new understandings, a lot of lessons, um, a lot of blessings, and a lot of negative stuff too. So before we can start to create new in the new year, we need to clear out the energy of 2020. Whenever you create something, and we created 2020, and we need to be responsible for that, um, we have to look at what we created and, and look closely at it. Don't be afraid of it. Look closely at it before we can change and shift or pivot to create something new in the next year. Yeah, so just like, just like a farmer clearing his fields in order to plant new seeds, we need to clean house. We need to clear out the energy in order to plant the new seeds and dreams and desires of our heart. So, so <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing you want to do is you want to create some sacred space for yourself. <clears throat> so make sure that you um, light a candle. Come into this consciously. Make this a beautiful, sacred practice. Make it devotional if you want, um, but you are committing to your practice. You're committing to becoming a conscious creator in your life. So don't just do this lightly. And I really encourage you to dive in and do it with me. For sure, you can watch the video first and then do it yourself, but be brave. Follow along with me if you want. All right. So what you're going to need is um, your journal and a pen. You're going to need, of course, your candle for your sacred space. You might want to give your space a little smudge with some, some beautiful sage um, is what I use. Say I use uh, white sage. And so you can just take a little leaf and carefully light it and give your space a little bit of a cleanse and you can also cleanse your paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you my art journal but I'm going to give my art journal a little cleanse and put that down here. So the art journal that I have looks like this and it's just a mixed media paper so that you can paint, you can use watercolor, you can use markers, drawing, pencil crowns, whatever you want on this paper. So I'm gonna demonstrate the background on this paper, but then I'm gonna to switch to another one that I have already created to um, demonstrate so that you don't have to wait for mine to dry. Now, last week we did, it's very hard to see with the light shining. Let me just fix these blinds. that helps okay so last week we did the wing in a prayer and this brought you into consciously feeling unlimited to feel that limitless that possibility of creating anything that your heart desires in your life this is very important an important step so if you haven't done this yet i encourage you to go back and do this this opens your heart up it opens the space up for expansion and for new beliefs to come in that, yes, I am the creator of my life. So I'm just going to set that one aside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the camera here to my desktop. All right. So here we are. Let me just get this set up so that you can see it. Take this over. And these are some sheets of paper that I have done in the past, some watercolor background. So this is a blue one, okay? This watercolor washes. This is a smaller paper, but just kind of a rainbow effect on it. 
Here's another blue one. And here's the beautiful yellow um, background. So I'm going to show you again how to do this because this creates a beautiful background for your intentional page that we are going to create. So the first thing we're going to do is create our background so that it gives it time to dry. So I'm going to grab uh, my water. I have my palette here of watercolor paints. So I'm going to use my yellows here. So my yellow and orange and my bright yellow. Um, I love using the Brushel Crystal paints or crystals because I can put them I can just put them in my tray here as a powder and then add water and they dry up in between my uses, but I just add more water and I can use them again. And I just need my larger brush. Here we go. So first of all, this, this becomes our beautiful sacred space that we are going to be putting our intentions into. But it is also a gateway into our own higher dimensions. So I want you to take a few deep breaths here. Just pause for a minute. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And release through your mouth. And I want you to do that three more times. Deep breaths in. Cleansing and releasing, letting go. So each breath you breathe in fresh, clean air, fresh, clear light. Stretching your lungs and your belly and releasing any tension any excess energy that you don't need, any energy you may have picked up from some, someone else or somewhere else, you want to take time to just breathe that in and release it out. And I want you to just imagine that you have a beautiful golden light in your body, like a pillar of light. And this pillar of light stretches down, down through your legs, through your feet, all the way down through the earth into the center of the earth. So just reach that pillar of light down, connect, connect to the earth and her beautiful, beautiful, warm energy of Earth Mother. And let that light of the earth come back up through that pillar of light and breathe it into your body. Let it fill you up. Fill up into every cell, every fiber, through all your limbs, your fingers and toes, and let that Mother Earth energy just hold you. So breathe that, a couple breaths here. Feeling that nurturing warm hug from Mother Earth. And now I want you to see that pillar of light that runs up through your body, through your heart, straight up through your throat and your head and out through the top of your head. And it's going to reach up way, 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 way up into the universe. And you're going to find your personal own light star, sun, vortex, whatever you see, that is your source of your life force energy. So reach up like an umbilical cord reaching into that beautiful light, but allow it to grow and expand as that light flows down from source down into your body, filling you up with more beautiful light and love, an unconditional source of light, an unjudgmental 
energy just coming in and see it pooling into your heart space. So just breathe that, feel yourself relaxing. You are supported above and below, wrapping around you, all around your body, around your energy field, around your room. Just feel yourself being grounded with this light into the earth. And now this is where you're gonna to want to gently open your eyes. And let's put some water onto our ear. And we can start to add some color. So whatever color you are drawn to, It could be a rainbow color. It could be yellows, it could be greens. Maybe you saw some colors when we did that little meditation. And you can definitely pull that in to whatever feels good for you. So it's just a time to play. It's the time to watch the water and the colors blend together. And it only takes a couple minutes. And you might want to do swirls, patterns. Whatever comes to your mind. And when you feel like you're done, then that's perfect. I'm just going to let this dry. And you can stop this video if you want to play some more. You're still working on it. We're just going to let that dry. Okay. So pause the video here if you're not quite done. But as soon as you finish and you're letting your painting dry, this is when you're going to grab your journal because I'm going to give you a few things to think about before we start the intention page. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to write down in your journal, and you can write this question down to what three words describe 2020 for you. Now, when you think about it, it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. Don't try to force anything. Just what are three words that really, really um, help describe 2020 for you? I'm just going to switch to my face here so that you can see me. There we are. Okay, so three words that describe 2020 for you. And it could be, you know, uncertainty. It could be fears. It could be claustrophobic. Right? It could be safety. It could be um, connection, you know, three words, whatever reasons are your totally your personal reasons for choosing them. Now, the second one is what are three things you discovered about yourself in 2020? Okay. What are three things you discovered about yourself in 2020? Hmm. And what, 
projects or events did not turn out or were not accomplished in 2020. So for instance, maybe you had planned to get married and that got put off, right? Or maybe you had a huge project planned, but because of all of the shutdowns, you couldn't proceed with it. So something that you couldn't move forward with or, or you couldn't complete, and it doesn't have to be because of COVID. It could be for whatever reason, these things just didn't get finished, right? So once you've determined that, and you can pause the video between this, but once you've got your projects or events that didn't turn out in 2020, what project could you take with you into 2021? What goal that you had in 2020 could move forward and you could say, well, that didn't happen yet, that I'm still working with that. So write down what it is that you're going to bring with you into 2021. Okay. The next question is, if you could go back in time to you at the very beginning of 2020, what advice now as your future self would you give to yourself at the beginning of the year to help your year have more ease, to have more success? So you as your future self now travel back in time to the you at the beginning of the year and give yourself a little advice. What would you say, you know? So pause the video if you need to again to finish that. Now the next step we're going to do is you're going to take, uh, rip up some pieces of paper. So just some regular pieces of paper, okay? Loose pieces of paper. So I have, I have, let's say three, pick three, okay? And it doesn't matter how they look. So don't worry about how they're ripped or how they're, how they look. So on those loose pieces of paper, you're going to take your pen, you're going to write down, grab mine. Three things that you are going to release from 2020. So we're going to give these back, this energy of these things back into the earth. So what are three things that you will release from 2020? So um, for instance, I wrote down, I am releasing my need to know the future, to have expectations. So that is on one of mine. I am releasing my need for expectations. So again, you might want to pause the video here and write down, what are you releasing? Are you releasing the anger that maybe came up and bubbled up for you? I know that came up for a lot of people. It was bubbling up and bringing to the surface things that were ready to be released, things that were ready to be healed and moved out of them. Um, you may um, have attachments that you are releasing. You may have relationships that you are releasing. You may have jobs or careers that you are releasing. You may have the sense of certainty, right? Being okay with uncertainty. So I'm releasing that energy of certainty in my life. I am releasing the expectation that everything go my way. I'm releasing the anger that I found came up for me. I'm releasing the frustrations. I am releasing um, a particular relationship or perhaps your career, okay? Now what you're going to do with these, and I'm gonna just move my art journalist Side here for a minute so that I can have space here and I'll flip back so you can see what I'm doing. Now this is where we are being completely honest with our learnings, everything that we have taken from 2020 and we are going to release it by taking these little pieces of paper you can take a minute to read it first, right? 
and then fold it up. And you need to have a dish that you can burn this piece of paper in. Okay, so this is a, a dish that I often use to burn sage in. So it's perfectly safe. So I want you to be very safe. And I'm going to put my paper in and let it burn. And I'm going to take my next paper. And I am releasing my voice, so I will speak my future vision into being. So perhaps I didn't use my voice as much as I could have last year. So I'm going to let that burn. And here I am releasing my special loves or attachments. And again, we're going to put that in there. We are burning these things away. And once they have burned and cooled, I'm going to take this dish and I'm going to dump it out onto the earth outside, releasing this energy into the earth, letting it go. I'm done with it now. I learned so much this year. I learned so much. We all learn so much about ourselves and people around us, about what we want, about what we don't want. So this is now just burning out. So I'm just going to set it aside. And I'm going to get my paper if it's dry. Mine is not quite dry. So I'm going to grab another one here that I have. I'm going to use this blue, beautiful blue paper. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating intention pages. So I'm going to show you a couple first. An intention page is, here's one, look there. This one is on presence, okay? So this page I created when I wanted to bring the energy of presence into my life very strongly. So I just did a watercolor background and I put the word presence across here and I started to write words and images drawing images and symbols that reminded me to be right here right now it reminded me of the power of now okay here's one i wrote on empowerment bringing that fire into my body embodying the the energy that i need to move forward in my life so we want to think about what does it feel like to be empowered? What does it look like in my life? So I started to, again, just brainstorm in a creative way, drawing images, words, okay? And eventually what came down here after I doodled all this stuff was empowerment is true alignment with my source, right? And there's this image here that I created to remind me that I am always connected. Here's one that I drew on and alignment, okay? This was representing alignment for me. Another one on freedom. What does freedom look like? What does it feel like, right? So I just wrote freedom and started writing all the words that reminded me of what freedom looks like and feels like for me. And it's blossoming, right? Blossoming in your life. Okay, that one's not done. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are getting into the energy of releasing, releasing 2020. So you can use fancy font on here. You can draw big bubble letters, whatever you want. I'm just going to write releasing here. My pen is running out. So I am releasing. And on here, as I think about releasing, I'm thinking about letting go. I'm thinking about clearing debris. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm clearing out. Clearing out old energy. Right?
and you start to write what are the words that described 2020 for you, right? What could you let go of now? We did release three things and we burnt them and we let them go into the earth. But keep going, keep thinking. What did you journal out? What could you put in here that you already journaled, right? I know I said that I, what I learned about myself is I learned that I am unlimited. I'm gonna put it up here. I am unlimited. When I believe I am. And that's what I learned this year, is my belief is so important. And I'm going to release into that feeling, right? So I'm not just releasing old, negative, heavy energies from 2020, but I'm also releasing into allowing, allowing the beautiful new energies to come in and remove the old, right? The other thing I discovered is I am exactly where I am supposed to be. <laughs> so and so I'm releasing expectations that things should be further along or I should be a certain way. I'm releasing into acceptance of the faith, my faith, right? The faith of, yes, everything is perfect as it is. And I'm going to release into that. I'm going to let go of yearning and straining, right? Just releasing into peace. releasing into acceptance, releasing into love, because I can love myself more when I am here. And so this is what you're doing. And you can draw images on here. You can add flowers. You could add a mandala. Um, you could add a beautiful lotus flower. You could add animals, whatever, whatever you want. You, you just stay in that energy of releasing 2020, thanking 2020, right? Thank you. 2020 for all my growth, my learnings, the wisdom I've gained. There is so much more, right? And I know after 2020, I am truly living my purpose. That was a clear awareness for me. Up until this year, I had constantly questioned, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? But this year has brought me into a knowing, a deep knowing that I am living my purpose. So I could write that on here too. And then again, what I learned from that is I'm releasing that searching. I'm releasing that yearning into the future. I'm releasing expectations. And then what that does is it brings me right here, right now, into this present moment. And so I encourage you to have some fun. I encourage you to add colors with markers. I have um, these markers are watercolor markers. So I could, if I wanted to, add some color around. Um, let's see. 
Let me do some pink. I did some pink around here. These are really cool watercolor markers because they're nice and bright. And what happens is I'm just going to add a bit of color onto each side. Um, then I can take a paintbrush and I can add water to it. Oops, too much water there. And it will blend it so that I just have to rub it a little bit to blend it, but it becomes like watercolor then. And you can play around with it. So these are a lot of fun to play with. They're very bright and vibrant. They're um, the pigment in them is very strong. And you can choose colors that relate to different chakras for you. So <laughs> the blue, interesting that I chose the blue because one of my, one of my, um, statements that I burned had to do with my voice, releasing my voice, right? And speaking into my future, speaking my vision um, of what I want to create out loud. And blue is the throat chakra, right? And pink is, can be your heart. It can also be your crown chakra for pink. So you can add those colors in. You can add in um, let's say I'm going to put a lotus flower here. So because a lotus flower represents rising up out of the muck, right? So um, I'm gonna put it, yeah, I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to create a petal. And then I can color that too. Whoops, <laughs> I made a mess of that. You might want to draw it with a pencil first and then <laughs> draw it on here. That's okay. So I could, I could have my lotus flower here. I can draw in a few more petals here. Right, I could make some of these green leaves if I wanted underneath and then make my pink flower or um, purple lotus flower, whatever you want. So you can keep going and adding and staying in that idea of just, it's all from the energy level of releasing, okay? So as you are doing this, you're staying in the energy of releasing. So we know that anything we create begins at the energetic level. And that's what this work is doing. It's connecting at the energetic level. It's releasing and clearing house, clearing space in your house for the new. It's acknowledging everything that we learned from 2020 acknowledging it instead of just turning away and trying to build on top of it we're going to just clear it out gently beautifully with gratitude in our heart and grace and from this you will probably have awarenesses and things that you didn't realize you learned are going to come into the light and that's what we want so have fun with this i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next week in the new video okay bye everybody